Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com. Tom Hogan has pricing up for the 2011 anticipated Nikon DSLRs. That's the D400, the D800, and the D4S. So what's Tom saying? Tom is saying $19.99 for the Nikon D400 US. He is saying $34.99 for the Nikon D800. That's the uh, successor to the Nikon D700. That'll be the new full frame um, body that's in the, uh, the smaller, not the full size body. And uh, the $54.99 US for the D4S, the Nikon D4S. That'll be the replacement to the Nikon D3S. So pricing we're seeing here is a little higher, reflecting the inflation that we've seen lately in Japanese prices on cameras. So we've seen a lot of, um, of bumps in the pricing on things. Things are more expensive, probably partially due to um, the state of the world economy and also to due to the Japanese economy after the disaster and whatnot. So what I'm wondering is, how does this affect your uh, plans to purchase? Will this be putting a kibosh on them or do we still be going ahead and just not really enjoying the, the little uh, hit in the wallet but still planning to make your purchase? For me, I'm still going to probably pick up a D400, 1999 for the anticipated specs. We think this is going to be 24 megapixel camera and hopefully as clean or cleaner high ISO than the D7000. I will still uh, purchase one of those. The D800, not sure. I may wait on that till I've tested the D400 to see how, how I per like the uh, files and whatnot and the performance because I may stick with the D400, D7000 combination this year. But uh, I'm wondering, how does it affect you? What are you thinking? Post your comments below. Are you still planning on buying any of these cameras or is that pricing going to affect things? Once again, it's $19.99 for the D400. That's US $19.99. Uh, US $34.99 for the Nikon D800. And US $54.99 for the Nikon D4S. You can check this out at Tom's site, Tom Hogan. That's bytom.com, B-Y-T-H-O-M.com. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with some new video posts, some new articles, and we'll keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks, folks.